Ja, nou. However, it's done these days. When Chalora and her husband are out of the house, do you ever lay in their bed or go through their drawers? Maybe find a nice gift for yourself. Um, well, I don't go through the drawers, but I do. There is like a bin, and it, it's all of these disheveled pieces of clothes. I don't know why they just. It must be a donation bin. But they do smell kind of funny, and sometimes they're kind of crusty. The crusty ones are always the best. And those ones I bring to church, give around to my friends, um, use them for, for blowing my nose when, when the sermon is really good. Have you ever sabotaged Jackie's dishes at church? I heard she's not giving, very giving at communion. Yes, yeah, so, you know when you go to communion and they take the crackers? You can't say that word. Damn it. I've been told not to say this word, and I keep saying it because it's food. It's food, goddammit. It's food. Um, you take the wafer. The wafer. And they tear it into, into eighths. Why would you take It's wafer thin. And you're going to crush it into eight pieces? Eight pieces for, for a piece. I'm hungry. I've been sitting in this church for over an hour and you're going to give me an eighth, an eighth of a part of a snack, an eighth of a, of a charcuterie board. Now, no, Jackie, that's not what we're doing here. Give me the whole wafer. I want a whole one. I will go into the back. I know the pastor. I will go back and I will get one for myself. The church has enough money to give me a whole wafer, Jackie. Are you sending all the other wafers to hungry children somewhere? I bet you Jackie's eating all the wafers back there. She takes a whole pack home, eats them with a bit of cheese. Old Cheddar single slices. I bet that's what she's doing. <laughs> Fucking Jackie. So yes, have you ever sabotaged Jackie's dishes at church? Absolutely. Now what, what a lot of people at church don't like is hot food. Because they can't handle it. They can't handle their spice. So I'll throw a little hot sauce in there. And it's hilarious to watch. And nobody brought... No, who brings milk to the, to the church potluck? And then here I am. With, with something dairy. Here I am, the saints. I bring something with dairy in it to cool everybody down. Get the heat out of their mouths. Good. What is my favorite thing to have for lunch? Oh, my favorite thing to have for lunch, which is what I'll have after this, is a nice thin piece of ones of bread. The garbage one, the bread, not the good stuff. The shit one, the bread. I want the garbage. I want the, the, the end piece. That's what I want. I want both end pieces of the Wonder Bread. That everybody, the one that's been left in the bag the whole time. And then the one at the other end. I want both the ends. Yeah. Yeah, both the ends of the, of the fucking Wonder Bread. The not good one. And I want it with, with, with margarine. Just a really thin layer of margarine. Oh yeah. Then you slap them together. Sometimes I put maybe uh, maybe a piece of lettuce. That's good. Help me, Auntie Laura. I'm trying to impress my stunning girlfriend. What's the best Valentine's Day date ever? Well, I'm gonna start with the worst. The worst date is a movie. And I'll tell you why. So. Especially if they're new. If you haven't been with each other for about a year, go. Don't go to a movie. A movie is fine. How did this happen? Get, get this out of here. What is, that's my pearl necklace. Who did this to me? Who's, who's sabotaging me? 
Oh, now it's trapped forever. Nope, that didn't fix it. Well, I guess I'm just, this is my life now. A movie is super unpersonal. How are you supposed to get to know each other when you've got to be quiet the whole time? Unless it's a movie you've both seen a million times, and then you can talk over the movie and talk about it and talk to each other and play footsies or whatever. Then go for it. Um, if you've known each other long enough, you want to watch a movie and your movies are your thing, fine. Otherwise, I would say, listen to them. Get something that they really like. Be a little different. Try something new and exciting, but something you already know that they're going to like. But remember that you have to enjoy it too. So make make that compromise, that bridge. I'm getting my work out in. At least in my opinion. If you're bougie and you wanna have flowers and roses and diamonds and bubble baths and hair care and Manny Petty and new clothes and a dress and a limousine. Well, fucking. Where do I get that? Who do I got a schmutz to get that? Alright, my next question in my box Are you lactose intolerant? Now, give me the cream. Give me the cream. Put the milk down my throat. Cheese me up. I'm good to go. You need to be unapologetic if you want to call a snack a name, you should have the rights. Well, that's what it's called. My producer off screen over here is telling me I can't say that word. I've been eating little wafers, little crunchy niblets all my life, and now I can't say the word that they are. What do I call my Triscuits? Just call them Triscuits, like you call Kleenex Kleenex? I don't know. That's ridiculous. From Kiyoshi. Can I ask my stepbro for Valentine's Day? Of course! Why not? What's, what's wrong with asking them questions? I don't think anyone has to bend over backwards to, to be asked a question or to ask a question. How about second cousins? Well, I've had first... When you have a cousin the first time... Sometimes you're already born and you have a cousin. But then you get a second one. And you're like, oh. Now I have two cousins. Why not have a third cousin? But if, but if you don't have any aunts or uncles to give you more cousins, then I guess you have no cousins. I, I, I'm scared to go out and meet new people out at parties. What's a way I can be more social? I'm scared to go out and meet new people out at parties. Well, you can come right here. You can have a little personal party at home. Uh, we're having a little party here. I've got my glass of water. You could be at home with an alcoholic beverage. I could have an alcoholic beverage if I wanted one, but it's the middle of the damn day, which means nothing because I... who who. What kind of old lady doesn't drink at noon? Especially when the Kim's the little buggers come over. God damn, they make so much noise. So you can be social anywhere. You can come hang out here. You can go anywhere you want on the internet, on the World Wide Web. WWW. It's nighttime somewhere. That's right, that's right, thank you. Do you have any advice for long distance Valentines? How do you make that special? Well, for long distance Valentines, uh, I would suggest sending maybe a letter or a package. Uh, everybody loves a package. Handle it uh, when it gets there. Open it up. Love it. If you don't have money or you're, you're trying not to, you're, you're being frugal with the long distance, uh, have a call, have a phone call. Um, but I think overall, something that's special, um, that that you always keep close to your heart forever, is something physical. 
You know, you could send a memento through the mail, you could send a letter, uh, something handwritten and thoughtful and meaningful. Now, something interesting though with long distance, if you send something to them and they don't appreciate it, dump them. Dump them. Get rid of them. Throw them away. How fucking rude. You know what I mean? You make something nice for somebody and they go, Ugh, not enough. I'm not enough for you. My handwritten love is not enough for you. Then you're not enough for me. I'm out of here. I'm going to go find somebody who will appreciate my love and affections and my gifts. I will go find someone who understands, you know, that life is hard. That we're in a pandemic. And I don't have all the limitless money in the world to spend sending you something through the mail. When sending something with, through the mail is overpriced to begin with. Overpriced. If I buy something for fifty dollars, I'm not paying ten dollars to have it shipped to you. Are you kidding me? It was fifty bucks. Get me that free shipping. And sometimes it takes too long to get to places. It can take a really long time, and that's not fun for nobody. If it doesn't arrive in time or whatever.